Now we are. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the Hi. Pearls of Color podcast. Um, I think this is episode 12. <laughs> Could be, I'm pretty sure it's 12. We'll just say it's 12. If not, I'll have the correct episode in the... Later. Yeah, later in the title. <laughs> I didn't check. Um, so we're outside today. Um, it could be nicer right now. But it could be nicer. It's, it's like it's like seven thirty, so the sun's going down. Um, but I'm Sarah. You can find me on Valvery as Sa Laws S A R L O Z. This is my cousin Stacy, and you can find her um, as Stacy R O. Stacy Rowe. Jax. Now Jax, ready to come in. Don't look at him. <laughs> Sorry, we're looking at the cat. He's um. Stray. We have a stray in the neighborhood. He's been coming around for two years now. Um, and he's on the back porch. But we just caught my cat sneaking out. And the two of them looked the same. And we were just saying how I was... At first I thought I was letting Jack in the house. Because I saw my... I let my cat in three times. But I never saw him go out. And I was like so <laughs> confused at first. He was sneaking out of a window in the basement. <laughs> Good thing we figured that out. Good thing. <laughs> Before nighttime. Yep. <laughs> so for those of you who watch, you can find the podcast on YouTube, and you can find it on my blog. Um, I changed the blog name. So I think it's like, I think it's blogger.pearlsofcolor.com. Pearls of um, I'll, put, I'll put a link, though, so you guys can find it if you're on YouTube. If you guys are watching on my blog, then I guess you don't need it. Um, I usually post a message, uh, like a post update in Ravelry too, um, in our group there in case you need the link. So yeah, that's changed. Um, so we're doing new? a knit along. Yes. Oh, yes. We need to talk about <laughs> that. Um, we, haven't. we haven't got a chance to say it on the, on the, on video yet, but last episode we mentioned how, um, Stacy wanted to sh- start in it in a shawl, and uh, we decided to go with the hitchhiker, and we did do it together. So we're doing a Martina Bam BM knit along um, until July 31st. So if you started something in May, um, one of her patterns in May, you can you can still enter. Um, so it's from May to <coughs> July 31st, and I have a price for you guys. Oh, you already have it with oh. you. I forgot our other giveaway prize. That's okay. I don't have to show it to you guys right now. I did. I brought it with me. Um, so it's a beautiful shawl pin. It's so pretty. Um, it's a nice little hat. So it go, it'll go with anything because it's a hot thread. Like that's just, you know, a hat is red. You, you wear it with everything. True, true. Even though it's red. It's supposed to be red. <laughs> it's supposed to be red. So you can wear it with anything. And I got it from um, Shawl Pin Heaven on Etsy. And she gave us, um, you guys, a discount code. Um, I messaged her to let her know that um, I was having, I was buying this for a giveaway. So she gave me her coupon code to tell you guys, which I think is save 15. But I'm not 100% sure. I'll leave that in the show notes, though. Um, and I'll definitely have that <clears throat> for you next episode. Um, but there's also, um, in the Ravelry group, there's a board that's already started for the knit along that has the details there. So come check us out if you haven't already on Ravelry. So for anyone who finishes a shawl, one of her pat, well, any one of her patents, it doesn't have to be one of her, a shawl patent, um, from May to July 31st can enter. Just post your FO into, um, a board once I open it and then we'll, we'll draw a number and that post will win the shawl pin. Um, I actually bought a second one for myself. She's like that. Yeah, I was going to buy you one too, but I'm just going to have to I'm not special enough. I have to enter the... You, you could enter. You could, you could <laughs> technically enter. I, I won't be entering, but you could technically enter. It's your first... Oh, I did bring the other giveaway gift. Sorry, guys. I haven't seen them yet. So We're a little is... all over the place. I'm super excited about this. Um, I bought <clears> some... Recently, I contacted um, Never Enough Time on Etsy to see about getting a certain color dyed for me on a certain base. Uh, my boyfriend's aunt requested a winter breeze cowl, and she wanted it in purple. So she had a nice purple tonal color that I wanted, um, but just wasn't on a base. So when I contacted her, she asked me if I did giveaways on the podcast, and I told her that, that I do. Um, and she donated a skein of yarn for us. 
I haven't seen it yet, so this is my first time. Oh, it's pretty! I want to enter that giveaway. It's beautiful. You'll have to learn how to knit socks. I need to, so. Yeah, you could do worsted weight socks. You don't have, they don't have to be like... Sock socks. Sock socks, like big socks. <laughs> like, you could find a nice pattern for you to learn on. So, um... This is her heel toe combo. This is a really good deal, guys. I know I mentioned it before um, when I bought one from her, but um, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's a hundred grams of the of the heel color, the heel toe color, and then it's a full skein, four hundred and sixty three yards of her sock yarn um, for the like the main color, and. That's a, that's a lot. It's only like, um, I think she charges $25, and in total, you're getting 563 yards. So it's a really good deal. Um, and her yarn is really nice. It's it is nice really and soft. soft. Um, and this is like a bubble different... Gum. Yeah, bubble gum. It's it got bubble some, gum. some hot pink, some lighter pink spots. It's got but it's not blues a real, and different tones of blues. It's not a loud hot pink. It's no, just it's... um. It's, it's like a deep pink. It's not really a hot pink. It's like a deep raspberry pink. It's a raspberry. It's a raspberry. Yeah. So it's this really will be cute. yeah. So I'm gonna do at once our um, the Martina Baham is done. That cow is done. Um, I'm, I want to do a sock knit along from August <clears throat> and for August and September, um, and it's two months because I know this one's gonna try to knit some socks. That's what these 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 knit alongs are trying to get her to do new stuff. I've so, been slacking. We haven't shown our hitchhikers. No, well, so, you'll show oh. them in a second. <laughs> We're a little all over the place, so please forgive us. But yeah, so that'll be for our next cal, and I'm super excited about it, and I'm so happy that she donated. Um, I really like her yarn. Customer service great. It's actually two women who run it, um, and I've talked to both of them before, and so they're I'm, awesome. Thank it's you our, for donating. It's, yeah, it's our first official. Giveaway prize that's been donated. I've done like I've bought people patent. I like gifted people patents in the past, and you know stuff that I bought it like but bought. This but this is the first donation, so I'm super excited, and it's such a generous one. It's a really nice. Yeah. So I hope I hope y'all will participate. It should be fun, and it's beautiful, beautiful yarn. Yeah, it is. Um. So yeah, can't super, beat that. Super excited about that. Um. Sorry for the pink one, guys. <laughs> it's, I just. She, when, um, my, when my order was done, she reminded me to use their Mother's Day coupon. I, I didn't even know it was 20% off. Oh, darn. I actually bought a skein of the bubble gum for myself. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was a discounted one because some of the dyes, um, broke up, which means, like, uh, some of the pink turned like blue or like the color ran on yeah. like some of the white so it's not a perfect skein but I figured I could just cut those spots out as I used it because it's going to be it's probably going to be a pair of socks you know so uh, I just wanted to give you the shop name oh that's not even the full yes it is well almost so it's never enough time yarn on Etsy um I use I don't have a business card on me she'll post it down below yeah yeah, I'll post it down below in the blog post. So visit their shop. Yeah, the great customer service is super nice. Um, their yarn is beautiful. Yeah, so why don't we get started and show them what we've been doing. So I've been really slacking. I actually haven't wor worked on my hitchhiker in like over a week. i got to find my hitchhiker. I was sick. I don't know. My niece got me really sick. So I kind of had like a stomach Her bus. sister won't admit it that her daughter yeah. was... It was dehydration. Yeah. <laughs> but the dehydration kind of uh they had all the same symptoms. They had all the same <laughs> symptoms and she just won't admit she won't. It. My yeah. sister didn't admit that my niece got me sick. Um they treated me like I had Ebola or something. Oh. But I really nice. got infected by you, my niece. You need to scoot over a little into the spray my so, little. There you go. I was sick for a couple of there days. Is. I've been job searching and I finally think I found a job as at a bank. <laughs> So, hopefully... Super excited for her. Yes. So, yeah. I haven't worked on it much, but... It looks great, guys. It looks... I don't think the color's going to come out on the... It might, if not, it might not. Our lighting's going away, but... It might not be super long episode, because our lighting's kind of going. But this it's is not my bad. It's not a bad. Yeah, she's got... How many teeth do you have now? I think I have 13. I haven't done a lot. 
You got 14. You're working on your 15. Yeah. I like it. It um, looks... Look at her stitches, guys. Look at how neat they are. They're nice and neat. Trying. She's doing a great job. And here's the skein. Oh, it's a nice purple. And it's a purpley... Like, it goes to this, like... Um, this like a little white and then gradually gets into like a dark like a darker purple. purple and goes into a deep deep purple that's almost like a black yeah a blackberry type of I love it color. it's called um what it, it's a skinny dunker so it doesn't really have a name but yeah it's beautiful she gifted me I gave it to her I got my I was, first giveaway guys Whew, guys it was hard it's she, not only this was in her closet probably for like three it's years. It's gorgeous. It's so this is um, <laughs> no makers, and you guys know how much I love my no makers. So it's no makers. Yes. It's one of her surprise skinny dunkers. So the color is not repeatable, and I still gave it to it's her. It's one of a kind. It's a gorgeous one purple. So pretty. I wish Purple's I hope the light in color. I hope so. the light in is getting a good good view of it, but I don't. I don't think it is. Probably not. Um. And I found it on a D stash, and it's 50% super wash and 50% tinsel. So it's going to be a really nice shawl. I'm, like, super excited to see it when it's finished. And I'm using, um, what are the needles called? Carb um, yeah, she's carb using up. my um, carbons, my Knitters Pride carbons. And, and they're really nice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she really wants them back, um, I'm sure. Actually, you know what? Those ones aren't my favorite. I really like them, and I think they're great. They're I love, great. I love the, um... All of the Knitter Prides have the same cord, the black cord. I love it. It's really flexible, and it doesn't have a lot of uh, memory in it, so it doesn't really curl up much on you. Um, and all the joints are nice and smooth. Um, and so nothing they, slips off. Ew, I oh got pollen. Pollen, yeah. It's okay. We're going to wash your... Oh, I got a... We'll not. fix that. We'll fix it. But, yeah. You can probably... That knot is small enough. You could probably even knit it right into your shawl. I no, don't think it would make a no. big difference. No, we're not. Well... We'll deal we'll get, with it we'll when we get that. that. When we get there. But I like them because your work really doesn't slide off too much. Um, yeah. It really holds and it they're well. Not as, they're not as tacky as bamboo or wood. Yeah. Um, they slide. They, they still slides, slide well, but it, but it's, it helps. It holds it really yeah. well. I like so. the way they feel in your hands. <clears throat> they feel nice in it's your hands. It's an easy knit. Yeah. The Hitchhiker is a great you knit to, scoot to knit. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the baby. <laughs> so this is getting um, cut off. The I'm Hitchhiker so is great to knit, though. We both found that we really enjoy it. Yeah, it's a great... Um, it's fun. It's great for first-timers, too. Like, it's... As you can see, Stacy's doing marvelous. Yeah. Such a great job. So, yeah, and I was nice enough that... She I, gifted I me. I gave her some note makers. <laughs> and now she's addicted. She went on the website one day and she's like text messaging me like at 11 o'clock at night. with All the of the ones to, that I want. She's like, oh, I like this. I'm like, yeah, that's one of my favorites, isn't it? It's a hint. It? It's yeah. a hint. <laughs> we both have summer birthdays. So yeah. I think, I think <laughs> yarn is in the, the near future. <laughs> I think so. So, um, yeah. So she's using my size 2.5, um, which I think is a three millimeter. I don't I'm know. I think it says it on there. Yeah, it's a three millimeter, so my 2.5 US. Um, I actually really like that size. And I am using some hand spun. Her hand spun is beautiful. Um, this, I'm calling this my wicked hand spun because I started spinning it last year after I saw wicked. And when I looked at the colors, like the colors were just like instantly made me think of the, the play. So, um, that's what it's called, and here it is so far. It's really pretty. And I'm loving, the colorful. like, the color changes. So it goes from green to this, like, J.D. blue to purples, green, and it goes back and forth. And now the colors are starting to switch in the opposite direction. So it went green, blue, purple, like, pinky purple, and then it goes pinky purple, purple, blue, and green. So... Um, it's really nice. Here's what I have so far. I love it. And I really like how it's coming out. And I didn't think I was going to have enough to make like a decent size hitchhiker. She didn't believe me. Um, but I, I still have a lot left. Like, I wouldn't say I used half. I'm already at like halfway at like 20 teeth, I think. Yeah. A little shy of 20. Um, and so I need like, I think it calls for like 40. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I think I'm going to get close to it. And I think it's kind of, 
if you want to stop short on teeth. Yeah, you, you can absolutely do that, and you can add more as you go, and that's what's so great about the patent is because it's so easily customizable. You just stop when you want to stop, and you keep going. So I think you should keep going until that yarn runs out. That's what I'm probably doing. If you don't, though, I'll take some of that yarn to, uh, for some scraps. I want to knit a scrap blanket. Well, yeah, it'd probably be nice. Yeah, I want to do a mitered, sca- uh, mitered square blanket. I think I've seen Cozy what memory you're blanket. About. There's a Facebook group that just started. Um, that's like a mini skein swap um, event, and it's run by this woman named Lisa. And I, sorry, Lisa, I forget your Ravelry name right now off the top of my head. I think it's like Laughing for Life or something like that. Um, and she started this group on Facebook because she's on there more than Ravelry, and it's really. Um, She's made so many different, like, events where she's gotten in touch with a bunch of indie dyers, and each month, um, you know, there's a different swap. There's She has different swaps going on. There's regular swaps, which is where you make your mini skeins out of yarn you have, and then you send it to her, and she mails it out to the people that have joined. And then there are others, um, like a swapless swap, which is where she gets a skein from um, indie dyers, and she skeins them up, and then she sends them out to everyone who's participating, and then you send her money to purchase the yarn. Well, that's nice. Yeah. So um, I joined a few. Um, she's got lead-in men fiber, fiber arts. Is that what... I think that's what they're called. Um, the Lita Men, she's got them a few times in it. And there's several different other, like, indie dyers taking part in it. So, um... Join that if you want. Yeah, I forget the name of the group, but I'll also put that in the show notes for you guys. Um, if you're on YouTube, I'll post a link to my blog so you can read the show notes. Um, but there's just not really enough room, and it's not so easy to put it all in the in the YouTube, notes on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll just put a link, and you can um, go to the show notes for all that stuff. So, yeah, those are our hitchhikers. They're coming along nice. They are, and I actually need to start working on mine again. I put it down for a while, and I kind of I miss working on it. I need to it. start knitting. I've been kind of slacking. And I'm using, I'm also using Knit as Prize, but I'm using my Nova, my Nova needles. And I'm using a size 4. Um... Which is a 3.5 millimeter. Because uh, my yarn is between like a finger in and probably like a sport. So, but I like it. It's a very like rustic feel. Like, it it's is. It's nice. It's really nice. Yeah. So that's, that's our hitchhikers. And have you done anything on your blankets yet? Your blanket yet? I have done the thing lately. I've been busy. <gasps> that's where my hand cream went. <laughs> <laughs> she has so much... Uh, <laughs> Don't some, advertise for that. <laughs> some Abba. I will show you guys this because I do like their creams. Um, I don't know if on the last episode I mentioned I was diet. I was trying to um, do like a detox from Abba, but I actually had a really bad reaction to their products. They're supposed they're advertised as being vegan and supposed to be good for like stomach problems, and I do have some stomach issues that <clears throat> I was hoping that like after eating and doing their diet and their detox I would feel better, but it made me sick. Um, I had, a, I had to even, like, call out of work uh, on one of the days, like, the second day I did it because I just, I felt so nauseous and dizzy and sick on Monday when I, like, was doing it. And um, not because of lack of food, but because, like, the, you, like, you do, like, pain. yeah, you do, like, um, protein powder, fiber powder, and they say to, like, ease into it um, if you have an issue. And so I tried doing that. But I had to cut back to almost, like, be a minimum of stuff. And at that point, I didn't think it was worth it. So I did call uh, to get a refund. So I have to mail them the product back. And it's it's kind of heavy. And shipping's not going to be cheap. The sh- I, Shipping to get it, because they do it in, like, two business days, was, like, $18. And then now I have to send it back to them for a refund. And they're not going to refund any shipping or cover any shipping cost. So I'm not really happy about that. But as far as their lotion goes, I do like their lotion. I'm just not 100% sure. Um, it's worth it. It's worth it. Like, I didn't... The woman I call for customer service was really nice. Um, and she was really helpful. However, they... I was supposed to get a second phone call because I had a reaction to it. They want... Like, I was told I was going to get another call. And they would find out more details about it because they want to know that stuff. Uh, but they never... They haven't called me back yet. And... 
it's been she, a week. Yeah, and she warned me that if they call and I don't pick up because I'm at work or whatever, to make sure to get back to them as soon as possible because it will hold up my return. So I haven't heard from them. I haven't sent my package out yet to send back to them because I'm waiting for more information. So I'm just not 100% sure I really actually like the company. Their lotions are great, and I really like their their cleanse and their body wash that I bought. Um, and like the other beauty products I tried out, I really liked, but I don't, I didn't like the, the detox products. But I also have, um, I do have pre existing stomach issues because my sister did it and her friends have done it and they've had no problem with it. But if you have trouble with fiber and you have trouble with um, like uh, probiotics and stuff like that, don't take it because I, um, I do need to take a probiotic. And I have a hard time finding one that works for me. And this one has like a digestive plus, they call it, but it is a probiotic that you take. And that, as soon as I took it, I was I was like throwing up from it. It just was too hot for my stomach. And then um, like the protein powder and the fiber was, he needs food. I just didn't do well. There's no food for Jack. Oh, will you, will you go get Jack food and I'll, yes. I'll continue with the podcast. <laughs> Bye guys. She'll be right back. Um, <laughs> it's the stray again yeah he'll be back though once you put food out he doesn't know you so um we keep food and water out for jack uh, my mom has really become a fan of him and she's tried getting him into the house a few times um i think he has an owner or somebody has taken him in during the winter time and taken care of him because he's he's in pretty good shape and he's i mean like he got a little thin but he's I know he's a sweet cat. He's very quiet, but he let me pet him the other day, and I was so excited because up to now, he doesn't even let anyone near him except for my mom, but he let me come close enough, and I got to pet him a few times, so I feel pretty honored. Um, any of you guys who ever have strays in the neighborhood, you know how um, elusive they can be, so I was super excited. Um, Stacy hasn't done much knitting, as you heard. She's been really busy, though, doing sending out resumes and updating her resume to look for jobs and stuff like that some family stuff too so um she's got the hitchhiker going and she's got that blanket going i have a little bit of everything going i've had stat itis right now we have cast on itis i just don't want to sorry oh my goodness that's a loud motorcycle wow um anyway so i haven't really been finishing anything but i have been statting stuff and like doing a little here and there and I, um, right after last, ep the last episode, I cast on um, the Ashton shawl. I might have actually shown it to you last episode. I can't remember if I had it going or not. But I'm almost done with it. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, I'm using a No Maker Skinny Dunker. Um, this is what I got left. It's kind of similar. The colors are like, I think the same colors in her flamingo fling, but I don't think they're the same length of color and order, but you can check it out. So it's um, her house gnome base. Um, I might have shown it to you guys. I can't remember, but it's really nice. And so far it's coming out oh, to it's be coming out beautiful. a nice, yeah, a nice size. I don't think you've seen it since I did, like Just added the bottom. Bit. No. Yeah. So it's going into a leaf design now, if you guys can see. It's a little hot to show it off right now. So it goes into a leaf design, and I think, so there's one leaf right here, um, and then there's a leaf that started in between the two Sorry. leaves, and so the next shot, which is the last one I'm on, finishes finishes the, the middle leaf right here, and then the bind off, you get like a... a like a leafy pointy bind off it's really pretty i can't wait till it's finished uh, so i think it's coming out great and it's coming out to be a nice size which is what i was worried about i was afraid it was going to be too small but i think it's going to be a good size um, and these ones i'm using a size 5 us a 3.75 millimeter needle once again it's my novas uh knit a pride novas not the best for lace work i wish i had the ones you bought we can switch them. the platina oh, ones you can use with them. the longer tip um yeah but i already started using this and this is a size five i got you a oh. size seven but um the novas are nice they just got a little duller tip they're not um as tapered um 
it's not as long of a tip. So it's a little difficult when I'm doing like the, the decreases. It's not difficult. It's just, you know, it's not as smooth as like my Chai Gu if I was using them to do um, a lace shawl because those have pointier tips and I think the platina ones definitely would have been nice. They're very pointy. Yeah. So that's my Ashton shawl. Um, I forget who it's by. And of course I only have page five of the pattern printed out because those are the chats I need. So the last chat only has 17, 18 more rows. So I just got to finish that up. And I might not finish it up anytime soon. As much as I want to, I've got some other stuff going that needs to get done first. And I have some baby knits I really need to start. Although, I kind of changed my mind about making a monster. And like a toy for each but one. But she bought the yarn already. I did. I did. But you know what? Um, I just don't want to... I, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Like have time. Because she's due in... She's due July 5th, and we're going to have a baby shower for her sometime mid-June. You'd have to work so on it So I'd now. have to really, like, work on it. And I just haven't been... I was motivated to start over the weekend, and I started, but um, I didn't... I didn't read through the pattern. So I decided to start with the body when the pattern starts with the legs. And I was confused because I didn't have a cast-on number. That should have been my clue number one, that you should start with the legs. But I figured it out, and I cast on the number, and I'm, and I'm going, and I'm going. And then I read the pattern again, and I'm like, wait a minute. I think you supposed, like, the, I looked at the picture, and it's, you know, like, the legs are knit into it. It's, they're not sewn on. And I was like, I undid all of it. You cast on, like, 84 stitch. I cast on, like, 84 oh, stitches. Terrible. And Forget I was, like, it. knit in, and I must have done, like, almost 10 rows, because you're supposed to do 15 rows. Forget it. And then I undid it all. Because I realized that I made the mistake of not reading through a pattern first. And I know better. And I'm going to take the time. And we'll forget it then. So I don't think I'm going to do it. I got a coupon though for Joanne's 50% off any regular priced fabric. So I was thinking about finding like a gender neutral fabric. Because you already have stuff that you're making. Well... I she made... just wants to buy more yarn. That's her excuse. No, I wasn't going to buy yarn. I was going to buy fabric and do one of those oh. knotted fleece blankets. Um, because I thought if... So it's 50% off one cut of fabric. So I was thinking about getting like a gender neutral fabric that could be both for a girl and a boy. Because two girls in my knit nights are and my knit night are pregnant at work. One of them is having a girl, one's having a boy. So um, when they give you fabric, it's always like doubled... Like it's folded in half, so you got a double layer already. So I was just thinking about getting um, like four four yards of it and doing two yard blankets for each of them and just cutting it down the middle. I mean, fifty percent off, right? Maybe. It's only on one fabric though, so I would want one. Like I'd have to get it to cover both size blankets and just cut it. Cut it in the well, middle. if you're gonna do it, don't buy it and then don't do it. I know, I'd have to actually... <laughs> well, I don't think that... I mean, I think it would be a quick project versus knitting them both a stuffed animal. Yeah. And finishing a baby sweater and a hat for the oh, other so girl. so you started the... I, yeah, so the baby sweater I have going, and I worked on it this weekend. Um, and I worked on it last night, and oh, do I love the colors. Oh, there's a good picture of the colors. They're cute. Yeah, so um, it's just the, um, the newborn vertebrae by Kelly Brooker. Um, I love this pattern. Um, I was getting a little tired of it, so this one I was gonna change up and like put this like collar on it, like um, like the Lotch cardigan collar, and like connect it together, and then do like feather and fan for the body. And I was here. gonna do that. I don't know, but I'm almost done. Oh, I think I'm getting um, mosquitoes. <laughs> so, but instead of doing like the whole bottom feather and fan, I just did a small a band. border band. Um, right underneath it's the pretty. arms. Um, let me see if I can get it to show. Not really. But yeah, so I did, I joined under the underarms. I knit about three rows. Then I did two rows of pearl to get the ridge. And then I did one repeat of the feathered fan with an extra, like, decrease, increase eyelet row. 
can't really see too well. Uh, and then I stopped. I did two rolls of pearl, and I stopped there. And the rest will be in stock and net until I get to the bottom ribbon. And that'll be a one-by-one one ribbon. I might do two-by-two two for the baby sweater. And then I'll pick up all along the front and do um, a ribbon. And I did make the, this, the, the front of it a little wider. I increased to 15 stitches so that it's not just a side cardigan. It does come over to the front a little. Um, because I was going to connect it at one point, but just decided I didn't want to increase that much. So, oh, it's cute. it is. It's really pretty. Um, and I just found out she's doing the baby room in white and pink with a little gray. Which, I don't have gray, but I have brown in here. And I have white and, and pink. So, when I found out she was doing the, um, the colors, I, I knew I had picked the right choice. Because um, for the, the borders... Um, and the collar, the the the, the, uh, the ribbons, all the ribbon is going to be um, like a white and off-white pearly color that I bought. Um, both They're both Bernat Baby Soft, which has been my go-to baby um, yarn lately. So I've been working on that. And then I've just been working a little bit on the sock for my boyfriend from the um, Patons Croy Sock. Um, so I'm past the heel, onto the foot. It's a double gusset. Not much to show you guys. Um, I've been leisurely working on that every <laughs> once in a while. Um, but I did buy this new bag. It's cat. I haven't shown it to you yet. I like cats. It's got a knitting cat. And they're at the movie theater. Oh my gosh. I just realized that. That's adorable. I'll show. I'll try to show you guys. So look, they're at a movie theaters. One's eating popcorn. There's some up here. And this one's knitting. <laughs> it looks like they might be watching a scary movie. Look at this one. I love it. She's like covering her face. Aww. And this one. <laughs> this is Buddy. This is Buddy all the way. I can't. He's trying to steal someone else's snacks. The person that's knitting. Yeah, I. I just the couldn't. Kitty. I wasn't going to buy any bags anytime soon, but um, when I saw this, I just couldn't resist. I couldn't resist <laughs> it. And you know what, guys? Um, it's, it was, I don't even, I've never even, this is a new to me store on Etsy. I've never heard of them. Um, the person who makes them, her name is Car Caroline, or, no, sorry, Carolyn. And her shop is called Bright Light Crafts. And she's got several bags, and I have to say, um, I really like it. The it doesn't have an interface in it, so it's nice and like loose, so that it's just it's easy if you're thrown into another bag. It's like it's nice to just have in your lap when you're sitting somewhere. It's not bulky feeling. Um, and what I like the most is that when you shut it, it really shuts. Like there's no opening. There's no yeah, opening there's left. Not. Because she doesn't leave a lot of fabric at the top. You know, so sometimes when there's a lot of fabric at the top, there's when you hole. shut it, there's like an open and gap because it's really, it's a bulky shut. This doesn't have that. And um, I actually really like that. I really like that about this bag. And she uses like these for her drawstring. They're like silky. Yeah. Um, and I, I was a little worried it's that they'd be too slick and it wouldn't stay shut. But it stays shut. Like, it's a nice... It shuts nicely. It's not bulky. Um, it has like five different pockets on the inside. So there are pockets. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. There are pockets all the way around. All the way around. See? Nice. Yeah, so stuck, lots stuck of pockets. And the pockets um, are deep, but they, they're not, they're not like hang open. Um, so my, my gnome bag that I have with all these gnomes on it, I think you've seen it. I don't know yeah. if you've seen it. Um, but I've shown it on the podcast before. I really like it. It's from Absolute Wonders Bags. I love the fabric and I love the way it feels, but it is a little bulky on top and the pockets are really big pockets so that when you put stuff in them, it they takes fall. up room oh. in the bag. So then I can't find my yarn at the, like at the bottom. <laughs> so... This one's not like that. This one's really nice. And it's really, really cute. So, I think that's, I think that's all I've been working on. Um, I'm hoping to finish some stuff up so that. Yeah, some FOs. I have some FOs to show off. Because right now, it's just, I just want to knit everything. 
Yeah, I just want to put knitting. everything on. It's like spring cleaning, only not <laughs> cleaning. It's like spring, spring starting. Yeah, it's nesting. <laughs> I guess it's spring nesting, right? You start all those projects and then you got to finish them. So, yeah. I, I got to finish some show. stuff. You will. You will. Eventually. I got to get you back into my routine. Yeah. Yeah. You've been busy. You've been busy with resume stuff. You've been busy with, with lots of stuff and being sick, so. Eventually I'll have yeah. something to show. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the, the episode and, um, you know, stop by Valerie. Send us Check a message. Out. Friend us. We, we don't bite. Check out the group. <laughs> the group is called Pearls of Color Podcast. There's a link in the show notes always for that. Uh, come check us out. Check uh, out the stores. That yeah. I showed off, yeah. Never Enough Time. And then... Um, Bright Light Crafts. The Shop, shop in Heaven. Oh, yeah, Shop in Heaven. And then Bright Lights Crafts. And I'll, I'll have links for them you can check out. And I'll have the coupon code that um, I got for Shop, shop in Heaven. She's got some cute stuff, so go check her out. All right, guys. Talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.